All right, Coach Hibner. So uh, it is Illyria Duels Eve. Huh? How about that? You guys got yeah, a it's going to be a good one. Yeah? It's going to be a good one, a lot of fun. Uh, a, a good one? How about like five really good ones? How about that? It is going to be – okay, so I'm going to cut to the chase because you got a lot involved. You got a lot invested at 182 pounds, right? 182 is going to be worth the price of admission for for all of Ohio to watch tomorrow. Uh, Broski, Perrine, Hivner, Evans, and I forget who Pleasant has. Pleasant's got a guy too. Hunter Sparling is what uh, I got written down here. Okay, so it is going to be it's going to be worth the price of admission. And Rizzo, don't count out Rizzo. Oh, and Rizzo, yes. So I mean, think about that. Like it is up and down the lineup. It is. It is. Uh, it's going to be. It's going to be like if if you win all the matches tomorrow, it'll it'll be the equivalent of what it would be like to win an Ohio State tournament in one day. Yeah. I mean, how excited are yeah. you and Cole for that? We're excited. Definitely excited. When you know, you we've see... uh, spent a bunch of time trying to chase around good guys around the country. So now to get them, get them a little closer to home now is uh, a good deal. And, you know, like I, I look at it, it's got to be good for him to have his commitment out of the way, right? He's going to Pittsburgh, H2P. Uh, I was there over uh, like a week ago for the Pitt, uh, PWC event. And they got a pretty good culture for Pittsburgh wrestling. Obviously, you did not pick their name out of a hat, right, Coach? No, not at all. No, we uh, with the we uh, you know the visit situation being what it was, you know we kept postponing after last year's state tournament got it canceled, postponed, 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 and then finally we were like, look, old, we're gonna go do some unofficial visits on our own, and you're gonna have to make a decision because you know you're never gonna get an opportunity to do the old school you know, go to a football game or do an official visit. And so, so we went that route and it just felt right to him. How crazy is that? That the, the only disadvantage I've ever seen in division one sports and athletics period from division two and division three is they can't host visits. That's wild to me, but D two and D three can't. Yeah. Yeah. Strange times, man. Strange. Time. I don't, I don't know how, how else to put that, but it, it's strange times, and it is just like, you know, where he landed, D1, and he, he said he was open to all the divisions when I talked to him last spring after, you know, a disappointing finish to the season for everybody in, in Ohio. But he said he was open to all levels, and you wrestled at uh, John Carroll, right? Division three, yep. Yeah, yep. and it's right down the road from you guys. How far is John Carroll from where you guys live in, like, Concord, Menor area? 20, 30 minutes, maybe. That's crazy to me. It's, it, yeah. it's all right there, man. Um when you look at Lake Catholic, man, you guys were, you were poised to make a run last year. And you and I talked, you know, last year we just, we just don't get do-overs, man. It's just, and everybody got the same thing last year, right? Everybody got a disappointing yeah. end to the season. And, but what's the message been this year to the guys and, and how have you navigated the COVID situations and COVID protocol and what you guys have to do to make a season happen? How have you done that? And, and how have you tried to build momentum this year for Lake Catholic? Yeah. So early on, you know, we got shut out of our room. So we were doing club stuff uh, through our, our compound regional training center with Lake Erie College. So, you know, we had to train off site and we had to lift weights in a garage and do what the kids could do. You know, the kids that wanted to do the work. Um, and then, you know, when we started getting opportunities to compete, you know, we did the grappler. We did Super 32. Um, you know, Cole Russell in the Elite Eight duel and uh, took some kids to the, to the Armageddon event before the CR off season officially kicked off. Um, so, you know, we just, just tried to train and tried to do our best to, to wrestle the best guys that we could find and get ready for, you know, for whatever this season is going to turn out to be. It looks like it's going to be a lot of duels and tries. Um, you know, but our guys are going doing a good job. They're, they're working hard. So, you know, there's just been so many challenges, like you said. Are you able to get into Lake Catholic's room now? Oh, yeah, yeah. We've been back in the lake for a long time. Yeah, we've been back, back in here for a long time, so it's not a problem. Um, you know, but it's, it's different. You know, no, uh, no annual Christmas alumni practice where, we're, you know, where all the guys come back. And, you know, so it's, it's been different. So, you know, obviously you're, you're Cole's dad. You know, you're so heavily invested in that. He's his two-time state placer. He's going to pit. 
you got other guys on the team, it turns out. As a matter of fact, 120 pounds. Macron's number one guy at 120 pounds. And disappointing for me is he's not going to see Fenton tomorrow. That one's a little disappointing for me, right? But yeah, yeah. he's going to get pushed. And there's going to be some matches oh, yeah. where he's going to have to really uh, – and, you know, the, the bullseye's on his back, right? He's the number one ranked guy in Division Two. Yep. Couple Division One teams, yep. three really good Division One teams tomorrow. How do you challenge guys like uh, Brendan McCrone and 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 you know let him know the guys are coming after him? Hey, Brendan's a workhorse. You know he he does everything we ask ask of, of him, and then a bunch more on his own. And he's just a competitor, like very few others that have ever coached in terms of his mental approach. And you know he's he's his sights are on winning the state title as it was last year, and. You know, he's, he's easy. That guy's easy to coach. Anybody can coach Brendan McCrone. So that's a guy you really don't worry about because you know, he's doing all the right things. He's going to lead. Yeah. And he's early, he's early in the lineup. So you guys can catch a spark from him, right? You can really, you know, catch fire with a guy like that. A guy like that gets a pin, you know, beats a good guy and he's going to have some matches tomorrow, man. Brexville. Uh, Todd told me, says it's a little weird wrestling Lake Catholic. He said, uh, he, he's not going to lie. He he'd rather not, but, you know, they, they're looking for matches. It's COVID year, and he's going to do what he's got to do. What's it like having a guy like Todd Haverdell? He's alum. He's a state champ at Lake Catholic. To see what he's done and to know what he put into your guys' program because he coached there a couple of years, what's it like competing with Todd and being great friends with Todd Haverdell? Yeah, I mean, no. Neither one of us are really excited about wrestling each other. Um, a few matchups in particular we don't really – have a, have a big desire to see, but, um, you know, when Brexville got canceled, uh, you know, immediately Todd and I and Eric kind of started communicating and said, Hey, you know, let's just take what we can, the, the best teams that we can get to come and let's, let's do something on December 30th in replacement of Brexville. And, you know, this is what we ended up coming up with. All right. I'm looking up and down the lineups here and I'm looking at lineups and I'm looking at rankings. Cause, uh, I got the lineups and I got the rankings. Are we going to see Ethan Smith tomorrow? 138 pounds. Uh, yeah, we're going to weigh him in there. We, okay. we, we may not necessarily use him there in every match. I mean, we're looking to get the best possible matchups we can to prepare for the postseason. And most of these teams, in fact, all of these teams, we don't see in the postseason. So um, I'm not going to be hung up on winning duels tomorrow. I'm more so going to be hung up on, you know, let's wrestle the best guys and try to get better. And, and let's, let's put a spotlight on what we need to get better at. And, you know, wrestling good guys will do that. So when you say that to me, immediately what pops to my mind is we could see Ethan Smith at 145 pounds tomorrow against Nate Burnett. We could see him against yeah. Kale Voinovich. I like yeah. that. I like that when, when, when I, that's what I'm getting out of that coach. When you say that to me, that's what I get out of that. I like that. I like that you were going to put what we're it. thinking. I love it. I love it when you get into those positions. And my thing is, you know, I'd love to see Cole bump up and, Russell 195 against Kaufman, but they got a pretty good guy at 182, so I'd just wrestle the really good guy at 182 rather than go up and give up weight and you're in a position where, yeah. you know, the, the duel maybe not may not be decided and you might have to win that one at 182, right? I mean, so, yeah, man, I, if you could wrestle them back-to-back. I'm I'd not saying that – that conversation came up at the house a little bit. <laughs> I love it. it. But, I, you know, I think we got to try to win some duels first, too. So we'll, we'll see where we're at when we get there. And – and Broski's a good kid. Broski's right? I mean, tough, man. Broski's yeah. real tough. And I like I was talking to uh, Ben Gundy, and he's like so excited about 182 pounds. Literally, everybody is really excited about 182 pounds tomorrow. And I don't know how you couldn't be with obviously Jake Evans, a bunch of D1 guys, bona fide D1 talent at 182. Yeah. Did Ryan commit yet? No, I'm not done to my knowledge. I don't oh, know. Oh, my goodness. And he might be the most talented of all the guys. That's what's he's wild. An athlete. A total yeah, athlete, he's an athlete, right? I, just like his brother, right? His brother's at Gardner Webb, state champ. Gardner Webb. I love it. I mean, I love it. 182 is just, I'm so intrigued. 95, obviously. You know, you're looking at one of the best 195s in the United States of America. So, um, yeah. coach, are there any lineups or there anything, any, any things that intrigue you as far as, you know, Brexville? We already know about that one. It's kind of like, eh, we train together. Because you guys do a lot together. You do freestyle club and a bunch of – you guys yeah. a lot of crossover training with Brexwell. Is there any ones that yep. you're fired up for? You're, you're training with Eric at Illyria. You're around yep. the Burnett trained a lot. So, it's like yep. – pleasant one kind of – does that jump out at you a little bit? 
Nordonia. They got some athletes. Is that one that jumps out? What are the ones that you're like really looking forward to tomorrow or that are low key that I'm not talking about? Well, obviously, my relationship with Todd goes way back. We started the Suburban Freestyle League together 100 years ago. And, you know, we continued, our guys continue to cross train together. And, you know, I know Eric from back, uh, you know, even before high school when when your brother used to hang out with Eric. So, um, and I coached the duels teams with Eric. So, you know, obviously, we're tight. Um, you know, Nordonia, we never see. We never see him at any point in the year. Uh, I, I can't even remember the last time we were in the same gym with Nordonia. So, that one excites me. And uh, same with Pleasant. We never see them. So uh, I think all of them are good for us, right? We're the only Division II team in the building. And so I think it's just, you know, go have fun wrestling good guys and, you know, just, just go wrestle. Don't worry about it. Rankings gonna, and all that don't mean a thing. Yeah, I mean, you're, but the, the, the quality of matches, if you look at Trevisano at 52, Foley at yeah. 60, they're both going to have, yep. I mean – Trevisano is going to get to Russell McPoinovich, right? Uh, you yeah, he's know, pretty good. Uh, he's pretty good. Bowley's going to have to match up with uh, Munguia. I mean, I, I don't yeah. know if it gets much better than that, Coach. Can you really ask for your guys to get put up against better competition than those guys? Yeah, no. I mean, this is, you know, for us with losing, you know, Ironman and North Canton, um, we, need a, we need a good event like this and, and losing the Brexel tournament, so. So, you know, I'm trying to do everything I can. We always really front-loaded the schedule. Um, always would do the Super 32 and then do Ironman, and, and we'd get an opportunity to do uh, North Canton and Braxville. And, you know, so for us, this is kind of our replacement to some of those events that got taken away. And, you know, like you're saying, you really can't replace those events. It's just it's not a thing. It would have to be like you'd have to go to a two-day scrimmage and wrestle an unlimited amount of matches, and it, you just can't replace yeah. the events can't replace no. the iron man i mean come on you know you know that brexville come on i mean it just just yeah. tough, tough uh, elite events with such tough elite out-of-state competition it's it's amazing to me that you guys are able to put like this you know how eric has been able to take the bull by the horns and and bring these teams and i'm just i'm pumped for it man i'm super excited tomorrow um everything's going to be streamed i think i know at least two of your duels will be live tomorrow maybe three on Ohio casts. So um, I'm just excited. And obviously the 182 matches, we might see all 182 matches live all day tomorrow because <laughs> yeah. we got a couple different live feeds. We got a, we got a YouTube live feed on Ohio cast and we got a YouTube live feed for grow wrestling. we got a couple different live feeds. And then the guys from um, inside the circle, Mark Neiman's coming down tomorrow. I'm just excited in general, anything that um I haven't covered that you're excited about tomorrow. Anything like you just said, you haven't been in the building or the, the gymnasium with more Nordonian forever. I don't know if you've ever been to a tournament with pleasant. Have you? No, never. Crazy. Isn't it? It's wild. Some of the crossover that we're getting this year. And like you yeah. said, so many people are, are they're, they're focused on tries They're I don't even know what we call this tomorrow. Super duels. I don't even know. It's not a quad six teams, five duels, right? Yep. Yep. I don't know. Holiday That's, duels. Holiday duels. Right. So, um, you got anything else for me? No. Um, yeah, I'm just real excited about it. I mean, for us, like I say, it, you know, we, we, we really had a bunch of kids that were hungry to, to compete. And, uh, like I say, we did, we had a, a bunch of kids at super 32 and everybody, you know, won matches and were tested and, uh, had a bunch of kids do this Armageddon event before our season kicked off. Um, everybody again, tested by high level guys. So I'm real curious to see where we're at with, you know, with, you know, particularly with our horses to see where they match up and, you know, where some of these guys can compete against them in Ohio. Yeah. The, the, the two guys I'm going to be looking for tomorrow are Trevisano and Bowley. They got, they, yeah. got some, they got their work cut out for them. I'm excited to see yeah. those guys wrestle because 52 and 60 year in and year out, as you know, two of the tougher weight classes year in and year out in, in the state of Ohio and the United States of America, man. I mean, yeah. You yeah. got some athletes there, and I, that's what I like to see. So, uh, Coach, I will see you in the morning unless you got anything else for me. No, that's it, Zeb. Thanks for the time. All right, thank you. You guys got practice right now? Yeah, they're in there rolling now. We got old Coach Tudelo getting after him. Oh, is he uh, the old Sparty, old Sparty Coach Tudelo? Oh, yeah. All right, he can, awesome. still, he can still roll. I mean, I hope so. You know, just, it doesn't just go away like that. Can you still roll? No, I'm horrible. 
Any joint I have, replacements? I have very little to offer that way. Any joint, that? Any joint replacements yet? Not yet, but I'm yeah, sure. You're fine. I'm sure the, the the hip's coming. You're oh really? You think hip? Nah, I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, I hear you, buddy. Same, same here. Knee, knee soon for me. Yeah. So that's the fun of getting old, Coach Hivner. I'll tell you what. I think you're 51. You don't look 51. I'm, I'm closing on 52, Zebby. Won't be what long. Is, what's in the water over there in Concord? What Talk to me. I don't know. I, you know, my dad's 77, I think, ish, roughly. And he, he still looks pretty good for his age. So I'm hoping it's just genetics. Dude, you look 10 years younger than you are. You know that? Well, I appreciate you saying that. I'm like being serious. You look, you look pretty good, right? All right. Good for you. I got to get some of that. I'm going to run up and get some of that Concord water, all right? All right. All right. Hey, thank you for the time. We'll see you in the morning. All right, coach? Yep. We'll see you in the morning. All right. Go Cougars. Yeah. All right. Hey, H2P. H2P. There it is. All right, coach. Good luck tomorrow. All right. We'll see you.